Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, yesterday I showed you uh, my new wireless chargers, uh, transmitter and receiver. Transmitter is off screen right now. Uh, there we go. We got 12 volts on that, or at least I will in a minute when I power it on. This is my receiver. It receives the signal, rectifies it, turns it into a DC uh, DC 5 volts. In which you, at which point you can boost it, or you can just do what you're doing with it. And in this case, I'm char in this case I'm charging a, a supercapacitor bank, 25 farads, uh, 5 volts. And I've never done this before, so you guys are witnessing it as I'm doing it. Uh, right now, the series bank, uh, again 25 farads, uh, has about about uh, well, not much on it. It's got a few millivolts on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my power. We're going to see how fast we can charge it. Now, uh, it pulls it, at, at max. It, the, 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 the power supply at the transmitter pulls about 500 milliamps. So we'll see how fast we can charge this bank. I've turned on the power. Closer I get. Right now I'm pulling about 400. Almost, oh, yep, 400 at max, and I'm about a millimeter away. And if I pull back farther, right now I'm at about a centimeter away, it's still charging, still taking about 100 milliamps. Uh, back here, it's taking about 50. It's still charging, but not nearly as fast. So I'll bring it really, really close, and that's at max. And as you can see, my bank is charging relatively quickly. Now the neat thing here is the fact that uh, I would be able to easily make a little supercapacitor flashlight and a, and a charge pad. And while I may or may not do that, the reason is uh, is because this is such a there's so many there's so many so much so many losses along the transmitter and receiver. Uh, it's just not a green source of energy, but it certainly is a lot of fun. You can use this for magic tricks too. So right now, as you can see, it's been charging at about one millimeter for about a minute, and uh, it's already two thirds of the way there. So now I don't have a diode between the output of the receiver and the capacitor bank, so I don't know if there's going to be any back powering. There might be some substantial back powering. Let's take this away and see what happens. Okay, so the back powering isn't bad, but there is a little bit of back powering there. I'm going to turn it off. But now, uh, what I can do is I can unplug the uh, transmitter. So the bad there shouldn't be much, there shouldn't be any back powering except for the leakage current of the capacitors themselves. And I don't know what I'm going to do with uh, three volts, but uh, well, I can certainly I can certainly uh, think of something. Poor, poor example. But I'm because this motor it requires a ton of power. Uh, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to use the, my the remainder of the voltage on the capacitor bank to power the motor, and we'll see how long it lasts. Full speed. Probably can't see that very well. But that's the that's the, the voltage we've transferred from our wirelessly from our uh, transmitters to the capacitor bank. I think that it really would be kind of neat to place a transmitter under the table and have about you know a uh, quarter inch of wood or something, and to have a, a hidden receiver under say a mug or something, and have you know the mug light up. You know the LEDs light up after sitting there and charging for a bit. You can walk around the room with your beer stein and. Red LEDs, are, you know, are, are, are flickering, and people are wondering how did that happen. And then if power runs out. You go back to your table. You put down your mug. We're still running. Now these capacitors, you gotta, you gotta remember. As soon as we started this video, had next to no power on them. Let's just see what kind of voltage we have here. It's still running. Look at that. Still have three volts. Unbelievable. All this power, minus a few hundred millivolts, um, was transferred in that short period of time.
These are really awesome. They will be available at engineeringshop.com and electroniclessons.com in a little bit. I have to integrate them. I've got a ton of new stuff, so make sure to check us out. Um, and, uh, yeah, so... Thanks for watching. I hope you find this cool because I, I'm just in love with these things. Uh, I can't wait to to come up with new ideas. And if you have ideas, uh, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments section. I received a comment yesterday about making a super capacitor flashlight. And as you can see, I can do that quite easily. And if it, well, not efficiently because of all the losses. But anyway, that's it. That's it. These capacitors are st still have a fair amount of juice in them. Uh, motor's still running. Uh, quite strong and uh, we've only lost about a volt so thanks for watching check out my other videos and uh, visit engineeringshop.com and electroniclessons.com for uh, uh, for my to see my eBay store thanks guys